Welcome to day four, campers. Today we are going to continue with our art project. Yesterday we worked with our analogous colors and we used the light and dark blue because they were located close to each other on the color wheel. Today I'm, I've chosen a set of warm colors. I sort of changed my color scheme from what I talked about yesterday. I looked at it and decided this is what I would do. In the center here I'm gonna use orange and red orange and then I'll close out tomorrow with the yellow green and green because they are right next to each other on the wheel. So I won't need these today. I'm going to go ahead and remove those and I'm going to pull in a little bit closer. I'm going to be doing only one section in real time today because we did something similar yesterday so I don't feel like you need a whole bunch of instruction. But I'm going to show you uh, one more time uh, in real time how to blend your colors in case you want to see that again. And then I will be going into time lapse to allow you to see the rest of the project. So here we go. I am once again going to work with my darkest color closest to the tree trunk itself. And I'll be placing my lighter color towards the outside. So I have a red orange. And just some reminders, we always try to color in the same direction. It makes it smoother. So I'm coloring horizontally. I'm bending the lines just a little bit, but I'm traveling in one direction. That helps this, um, the coloring strokes appear a lot smoother. Some reminders from yesterday, we're going to work darker to lighter in the middle. And at the lightest point in the middle, we are going to overlap the colors. That's how we get them to blend. Overlapping is just the best way to get a nice blend of two colors. Okay, so that's my red orange. From the opposite direction, I'm going to use my orange color pencil. I'm still coloring in a horizontal fashion from side to side. And huge reminder here, you work very lightly. Some things to know about a project like this. This type of project is very multi-step, but if you break it down into those steps, it's really not hard. It can look overwhelming at first when you see what this thing looks like. You're like, oh, I could never do that. But when it's broken down to its parts, could you draw a tree using a grid? Absolutely. Can you shade with color pencils? Absolutely. And then when you get a little direction on how to pick the colors and how to shade with the colors and where to make it darker and lighter, before you know it, you have a really sophisticated piece of art that you might not have thought you could do if you just looked at the finished um, image. I'm going in now, and again, I'm darkening up to the inside. That's going to kind of give us a little wow factor. Using that value we talked about yesterday. And again, I want to go out to the outer edge and darken my orange as well. These two colors really blend together well, just really pretty. And then in this center part, I wanna be sure that I've got a nice overlapping of the colors. Right here, I see a little weak spot that's a little bit too light. I'm just gonna add a little bit more color there, make sure I've got that overlap. And this is what the colors look like for this tree. They're very warm. It almost looks like a sunset in the background which is a real contrast to the blue that we worked with yesterday. Okay, so that's what our sections will look like today. 
Again, I'm going to work in time lapse so that you can see this finished product. Remember, um, I did make a folder for each day for you to upload your finished work into. So you'll just click on files and click on the file that says for us today, it'll be day four finished work. Have a great day, guys. Here comes the time lapse. Okay, so here is my day two project. As you can see, I have all of the red towards the center of the tree, and I faded out to the orange. What you may have noticed too is that I used a little bit of a different technique today. I, start, I did all of the red and then came back with the orange, and I think it may have gone a little bit uh, more quickly that way. But this is a nice contrast. You've got these nice cool colors. And then today we added these fiery colors. Of course, your scheme may be different than what I chose, and that's fine. Just a reminder, when you do finish this piece today, take a quick picture, upload it into the day four uh, turn-in folder, which is found under files in the art tab. And uh, we'll finish up tomorrow and you'll have your completed project. Have a nice afternoon.